today on Be Something Wonderful. My phone blew up when I did this. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, welcome back. We continue our visit here in South Vietnam on the Mekong Delta, and behind me is a beautiful view of the, from the 17th floor uh, of the river and the city. But because of the glare, I, I shut the curtains. But I, I think I posted a photo earlier of what's coming, and I'll, I'll, I'll get a photo tomorrow um, so, you can see, so you can share in this amazing view. So here's what I wanted to talk about today, is I had a follow-up uh, session with a client. Actually, this is, this is a, a really a continuing client, or one that I've talked to at least four or five times now. And a lot of things that we talked about, but her main thing was a specific person in her life. And, and when, as we talked about it, it, you know, she said that, you know, she really loves him and really wants him back. But then at the same time, talking about all these doubts and all these fears about him returning to, to someone he had been with for a number of years, all of this stuff. And I said, you're not loving him. She goes, well, what do you mean? I go, you don't, you're, I, I'm sure you love him, but you're not loving him, right? Love transcends everything. It's impossible to doubt. It's impossible to fear anything when you're in love, right? And so that's sort of part of the discussion we had. And then she, she in this session this morning, she said, Tom, it really finally hit me. She goes, I watched one of your videos where you talked about a quote from Dr. Joe Dispenza, and you talked about love. And you even had a quote um, that from scripture, that, uh, from Jesus. So, so I want to cover this today because she goes, it really hit me that you're, that you're right, that, that this ultimate reality is love. And when I match that ultimate reality of love, then everything I want must be my reality. Do you hear the, the, the epiphany she had here? Right? And then as she did that, as she moved into just seeing love, just loving him, and, and she did have an imaginal act. It was, it was like the first time they met, they went, on, um, they went on this date where they just were eating street food. And, and, and it was such a magical night. That's what she kept in her mind as she released all the doubt and all the fear and just sat in the ultimate reality of love. So hear this. Remember, love is the only reality. And this is the quote that she, that she mentioned on our, on our um, call. She said, how can a consciousness that has created all of life, that expends the energy and will to consistently regulate every function of our bodies to keep us alive, that has expressed such a deep and abiding interest in us, be anything but pure love? That consciousness, that awareness that you are is pure love. I, I don't remember exactly what video that was, but I've mentioned this quote in many videos. Um, and then Dr. Joe continues here. When our, will, our mind, uh, when our will matches its will, when our mind matches its mind, when our love for life matches its love for life, we are enacting universal consciousness. This is what she did. She just fell in love with life, right, again. She thought she was in love, right? But it was a lot more of fear. It was a lot more doubt. You can't doubt and fear and be in love at the same time. It's impossible. They, they don't coexist, right? This is really what she got. It, and, 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 and we talked about this idea in, in other videos that she saw when I, talked to, when I talked about the Lester Levinson teachings, that it's perfect. What's perfect? Well, that spiritual plane is perfect. It's absolute unity. It's that unchanging, pure, positive love, right? It's that all power. Then we have the mental plane, right, where we create or condition certain parts of that consciousness to have an experience of that love. But it's all an experience of love. This is really what I want to get at. No matter what you're experiencing, it's an experience of that love, even when it doesn't look like it, right? The, this is the middle that I've talked about, and the middle gets messy when we get caught up in the middle, when we start thinking, think, th believing that that is reality, this is reality, absolute love, absolutely unchanging consciousness. This is an experience of that reality, the middle, the changing thoughts and assumptions. And then we feel these changing thoughts and conditions. 
But then what happens, we identify with them that as reality. And that's what gets us caught. And that's what makes the middle messy, right? Remember, there's only one mind, God's mind. That's all love, right? And then we have the physical plane, the manifested material reality, where we try to do things and make things happen and, and go up against it. Right? There's nothing you can do here. That's just a reflection. She really got this idea. And fear, doubt, jealousy, and anger, these are all the things that we had talked about that she brought up again. She goes, I can't, I, I, she goes, I didn't see it. I didn't see that these things were in my way. And, and you know, she, she thought they were justified, right? But they're all created by a lack of love. So it's impossible to say you're in love with her or in love with him or in love with life when you're feeling these things. Because there's an assumption, a belief that's going through, that, that source energy, that love is going through, that, that's creating a sensation or a feeling of fear or doubt, jealousy or anger. It's all love, right? So it's all love. It's impossible to have any of, any of these things when you're in love. There's only love, the only reality. When you fall in love with reality, love is all you see. That's all she would see. That's all she's seeing. And so her phone blew up. That's what she said. That's what she started with, right? And this is after almost two years of crickets, of nothing. Her just trying to make things happen, right? Her her phone blows up. You realize the unreality of everything that's unlike love, right? And she she even mentioned this, this other video. I'm not sure if it was in the same video. Jesus gave us the key to manifesting our every desire by telling us what love is. We love him because he first loved us. That's the, defini- that's, that's the ultimate definition of reality, of unconditional love, of source energy. We love source energy because source energy first loved us. It's only love, right? My phone blew up as I made this one shift or I, or I, I saw this differently. Do you see it? It, it? And we all think it has to be something complicated or, or we, have to, we have to struggle and try with these processes. All the processes were fine. It was her shift, her realization that she wasn't in love, that she was in fear, she was in doubt, right? And as she moved to that realization, as her will matched its will, as her mind matched its mind, that divine mind, that divine love, that divine will, everything opened up. Her phone couldn't help but blow up. And now they're going to reenact. They're going to have a day where they're going to eat street food. <laughs> That's why I put the thumbnail. It looks like they're eating street food on the thumbnail that I use today. Guys, this is, so this is really what I wanted to talk about. As my, this is what she says. My phone blew up at, at when, when I did this. And she told her SP story. It's big. Guys, this is Tom Karen with Be Something Wonderful. Thank you, guys. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for being a part of the channel. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for sharing the videos. Thank you for your emails. I wanted to comment on that. I've now reached a point. If I haven't gotten back to you in emails, it's likely I won't. It's not that I'm not going to read them. I'm going to try to read them. I'll, I'll scan at least, at the very least, we'll, we'll, I'll get through them. But now I've really reached a saturation point here. <laughs> where it, where it, it, it just doesn't, it, it, all those emails, it would, be, it would take linear time, <laughs> linear time. So know that I, I live to, to, to respond to all of them. So if I haven't responded to the emails, it's not that, I, not that I'm not interested. I, I've got your back. I am going to do, I'm going to answer them in content. I'm going to answer them with videos. I'm going to answer them in live sessions, right? And, and so we're going to get to all of it, but at, at this point now, the, the mailboxes, both the info at Be Something Wonderful and the other email that, that I have, that, that my direct email, just overwhelmed now. I love it, and, but, but I just want you to know we're reaching that point where, um, where sort of a personal detailed response that I won't be able to do. And if I do respond, I don't really want to respond with just a quick response. So it's better not to respond. It's better to respond in the content in the videos. So guys, I, and don't worry. I am, I'm, I, I'm getting your messages. I'm reading your messages. And we will, we will address those. Um, and, and soon we're going to have another live stream. 
Uh, don't forget, we have a Facebook group, the Be Something Wonderful Ambassadors. You can find us there at facebook.com slash groups slash Be Something Wonderful. We also have an Instagram and Twitter at Tom Karen, or just go to our website anytime at TomKaren.com or BeSomethingWonderful.com. This is Tom with Be Something Wonderful, creators with great love, with great light, and infinite gratitude. We'll see you soon.